All right, come through, Jackie. Come through. Full oh, solo. Come on. See. Get down. Funny, like when we watch these makeup tutorials, it's like, oh man, it looks so amazing. Like, will I be able to recreate it? And then you create it, and you're like, oh gosh. I may need to watch this like a hundred more times to actually get it right. Gosh, you have so much respect for beauty influencers. You have to come up with a concept to film it and pray and hope it actually looks good. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial by none other than Jackie Ina. I'm going to be following her tutorial of when she reviewed the Jacqueline Hill palette. And if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a little bit, you probably know that I am... Um, just trying to get better at makeup. And I thought it'd be really fun to just follow one of Jackie's tutorials. I really love her channel. I love everything that she stands for. And um, I've just been an avid follower her for about like two years. And I think it'd just be really fun to see, you know, after watching a lot of her makeup tutorials, can I actually recreate a look that she did? So uh, yes, if you're new to this channel, be, first, be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And leave me a comment down below if you want me to follow anyone else's tutorials. I think I'm gonna do um, a soft glam like dark skin or um, brown skin friendly makeup tutorials or things that'd be really fun and just get my face all snatched so if you guys are a fan of Jack which I mean Poppy Lob you are I got her Too Faced Born This Way, Born this Way foundation and I'm absolutely in love with it and I actually um, went on her Instagram yesterday and congrats Jackie that you're on the cover of the knot that's just incredible it's amazing congrats on your engagement for you and Dennis Oh, such a beautiful thing and um, I'm just really excited for her. She deserves all the amazing blessings as we all do, right? So uh, let's get started with the tutorial. As you guys can see, um, I'm going to be watching her right now. So the first thing that she's going to be doing is applying some foundation to the face. Once I'm done filming this, I'm gonna, just going to insert some clips of it because I don't really know how to do the screen share where like, you screen it in. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm pretty sure if you want to see a tutorial how I do it, I will definitely do that. But just to speed up this process, I just attempted to do my eyebrows, and honestly, they look alright. So the first thing Jackie Anna does is she applies some foundation. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in Chai. Just kind of like put a little dots everywhere. And you know, it's so funny. We're in quarantine, and I'm just like doing my makeup to go nowhere. I'm pretty much going my, doing my makeup to just go watch Netflix. Like, quarantine's a good time to practice my makeup skills, so I'm here for it. And then I'm just going to be using a standard Morphe E1 brush. I, need, I had a foundation brush and it broke from Morphe, so I'm just going to use this. And I'm just going to use this to just buff out the foundation. I really need to just get my eyebrows redone. I got my eyebrows threaded. Um, well, was it? Yeah, yeah. I got them threaded at a um, my local nail salon. And man, they did a good job. I never thought I'd be wanting to thread my eyebrows. But after I did that, if you haven't tried it, Definitely try it because there's a lot you're missing. Okay. Next thing she does is just apply concealer. I'm just using the NARS concealer. This is like pretty much done, but this is all that I have. So I'm just going to conceal underneath my eyes. So she applies foundation pretty much all throughout here. So let's just, we're going to make this a true tutorial. Like I said, this thing is dry, guys. Dry like the Sahara Desert, but I don't even know what shade this is. And then I'm going to go in with my... Anastasia Beverly Hills contour stick and I see that she applies contour right here. I'm literally going to do the same thing. So contour around there. She applies a couple dots up in this vicinity. What else does she do? Yeah, she kind of has a dramatic line. She's using a beauty blender to blend everything out, but I'm just going to use the Morphe thing. So we are just going to bluff and blend this whole thing out, which is what this is going to be a beauty blender. Because, you know, I'm just going to kind of use what I got. And usually with the concealer, I kind of use my fingers. It's funny, like when we watch these makeup tutorials, it's like, oh man, it looks so amazing. Like, will I be able to recreate it? And then you create it and you're like, oh gosh, I may need to watch this like a hundred more times to actually get it right. <laughs> But, um, no, I think it's good. Like, with all the um, beauty gurus that we have out there, definitely want to just, you know, reiterate that we should definitely try and see, you know, how closely can we come close, how, um, how easily can we come close to the original look. So, this tutorial is going to be kind of interesting. So the next thing she does is she bakes. And I'm going to use the trusty Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. So she has pretty deep. 
And she definitely is contouring the sides of her. I don't ever bake either, so she does this action, scoped out that contour. All right, guys, this is a Jilla tutorial. Okay, what is she doing now? She seals off her brows with a little bit of brow gel, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm using L'Oreal brow gel. She's going to be using a shadow base on her lids, and I am just going to use the NARS um, Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Just using what we got, okay? And she's just still letting her stuff bake, so put a little bit of that here. I first found out about this eyeshadow base when I was watching Nitra B, and um, I just love her videos as well. So many YouTubers that I love. So I think I'm going to start a series where I literally try to follow some of my favorite YouTubers makeup tutorials and let's just see will I fail at it? I don't know, we'll see this girl is still letting this stuff bake and I feel like I'm shedding and I kind of feel like the contour is not as strong but alright guys, we're gonna. I'm gonna set the shadow with a little bit of the powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm just gonna so just set the powder. All right, she's using an blending brush. Okay, use my trusty Morphe M433 brush. So the first color she takes is this color right here. She takes this color right here. And we're just going to work on applying that to the crease. I am not good at eyeshadow, so this is going to be interesting, honey. Alright guys, I'm just going to blend this out. Gosh, hers just looks so good. I feel like whenever I blend out colors, it just never looks as pigmented as I want to. But I'm pretty sure she speeds up the process a lot, so... And I won't be using eyelash extensions because A, I don't know really how to apply them. And B, I don't have any eyelash, um, eyelash glue. So I'm just gonna use what I have, which is mascara. We are going to fake eyelashes. We're gonna fake some falsies. So doing the same thing, I'm gonna just apply this color to my crease. So far, so good, guys. Maybe I'll actually get, yeah. I should post one of these videos at least once a week, and who knows? In like a couple months, I'll be applying on my falsies and a breeze. I'll be able to do eyeshadow like, damn girl. So, right now I'm like, yeah, in the beginning stages. So yeah, guys, this is fun. What do you think so far? I'm gonna continue to just apply this color. So far, so good. This thing is still baking. As much as I love Morphe's palettes, I, I kind of feel like some of their mattes are a little. Some of their mattes could use some work in their other regular standard palettes. I wonder and if like, the brush really make makes a difference so of how I've, the color payoff is. And my brushes are so dirty. Because that could be another reason why it's not really as pigmented as hers is. Wait a second. Okay, I'm using the right shade. All right. And my NYX blending brush, Jacqueline. All right, let's just continue, y'all. Oh, 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 okay. She applies a little bit of that to the edge of her lid. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Guys, this is gonna be interesting. That is one hell of a green. Wow. Okay. So she applies that green, just like two little dots. All right, let's do it over here. So I'm going to do that right here. She kind of blends out this color on the outer edge. I feel like, look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Clearly, I did not put enough. Cause, or maybe I'm not even using the proper brush. Okay, well that, that one works a little hell of a lot better. I feel like I have hooded eyes too, so maybe that could be a reason why it's not looking as green. Dang, hers looks so dark though. Okay, we're gonna go ham. We are going to go ham. Why not? 
I'm just going to use the same brush, apply more of that color until it resembles more of what hers looks like. I don't know why hers looks so dark. Somebody please tell me in the comments, what the heck? Does it look dark on screen? Jackie, help, please. Oh boy. This looks like, uh, you know, I don't think I'm doing too bad. But when I'm looking at her video, hers is almost like black. I don't know. Gosh, hers just looks so good. Oh gosh, I just messed it up. Oh. I know it's kind of a pet peeve of mine when I give a review and people were like, "You're not really saying the truth," and I'm just like, "Speak the truth, chick." Like, I'm, I'm grown, boo -boo. Actually, Speak it, Jackie. Like, I'm, I'm capable of, of speaking for myself. Thank you. I don't, I don't need you to like read between the lines or anything. Yeah. So far, this is blending out really nicely. This eye's more. Maybe I'm not using a blending brush. brush. I don't know. Now let's go to a shimmer color. Alright, so I'm going to really try to blend this out because maybe that's my problem is I'm not using a blending brush. Because yeah, I think this eye, this one is just like a mess. But. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, she has so much respect for beauty influencers. You have to come up with a concept to film it and pray and hope it actually looks good. Alright, so she's using this color. They just don't shimmer enough. And it's still baking. Holy cow. Okay, okay, okay. She applies a little bit of that color dry. Girl, oh, 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 girl. We got plans now with this eye. Babe, you want to go see All Eyes on Me tonight? <laughs> oh, gosh. My makeup look good. I love the I, I love don't really feel like I need to wet the brush. I like this as is, so I'm just going to keep it. So far, not really running into any major issues with... The blendability, the quality, the color payoff. This is bomb. And these mattes are definitely better than the regular Morphe shadows. Seems like she has a little bit of the shadow, um, just, like, you know, like, like, I don't know, let's see, a little bit higher up, so I'm just thinking. <laughs> is this a fail? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm going to try to use the color that she's using. So this is the closest color that I have, but I'm just going to use this color right here. All the way at the edge, yeah. You hear that little man in the background? Hi, Israel. That's my sister's baby. He's the cutest. Too bad. All right. Come on, Jackie. Okay, she brings it out. She wings it out. Okay. I really like these gel liners because they have a color for like okay. every scenario. Literally every color you can think of in a gel liner, color pop has it. Do you see all the stuff? Oh, this is what do you guys think? Is it looking good? I live for this. Now I'm going to pop those on for the culture. Why? <laughs> I don't have eyelash glue, quarantine life, so I'm just going to use these two mascaras, the Colossal Big Shot from Maybelline and the NARS Climax Mascara. Sephora sale is going on if you guys haven't snagged anything and uh, your girl is going to be shopping a little bit tonight in this look. Is anyone else feel this way? But you know when you put on falsies and then you put on mascara after, what is the purpose? Because I feel like your falsies are pretty thick. Maybe it's to blend out your real lash with the false lash. I don't know, but I would love for someone to let me know. I think it looks good so far. Not as good as hers, of course. But I think... I don't think it's a train wreck. A train wreck. Wreck. A train wreck. I don't think so. All right, guys. What is she doing next? This went. Oh, wow. Way What'd she do? Fiery burnt orange. No, All right. She uses red. this color. And put that on. This fiery burnt orange right here, and she puts that on her bottom lash line. Okay. Yeah, the orange is gorgeous with the teal. This went way left from what I originally envisioned, but I'm not really mad at it though. All right, so she uses some jade color. Wow. There's definitely fallout here, but I'm noticing that it's slightly less than what I expect to see in other Morphe palettes. Interesting. Interesting how formulation works. I wonder how they formulate shadows so that they're not as dusty. Not as much fallout in a good way. My lashes are on, so I'm a whole new woman now. I think we can add a little bit of this fun. Wait, she has this fun shimmer gold. In our tear duct. In our tear duct. Almost kind of got some red in there. Actually, I think I want something a little bit more under. 
understand. So I'm going to take this color here right next to this cobalt. Just going to take this color right here. Whatever, we've already done it, so... Finally, we're going to move all this powder off our face. Do, 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 do. Okay, this thing is clearly my mascara. All right. Okay, guys, we are going to remove all the powder. It's been oh. Mm. Insert in the arms of an angel. Look at this. Do you guys see that? And I'm pretty sure I have a freaking hair in my eye. You see this piece of hair? This was in my eye. Okay. You see this? You guys can't even see it. Anyway, once again, removing all this powder. So, this be Galax. So, the look that you saw. Yes. Jack. Ooh. So, I'm going to take the top of the hat, super sharp cheek shadow. Okay. What I like about this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me just pause the video. Okay. The way when she adds those lashes to this look, when I say it pulls this stuff together, like, this is nothing compared to what that looks like. I mean, I think this is pretty close, but I mean, just hers is just, looks so sultry, it looks sexy, it looks a little bit tropical. Wow. Okay. She has a little bit of blush. And, dang, I don't even have a blush. What's wrong with my life? She uses two colors for the lip. I'm going to use this color from ColourPop. It is Capiche. All right, and then I'm going to add a little bit of a lighter color in the middle. Mm. She uses lip liner, which I don't have, clearly. So I'm just going to use this color from Sephora. It's the Sephora Lip Stain in 13. And she uses a setting spray. I don't have any. I'm still waiting on Sephora to come in. Dang. And clearly, I need to get some more makeup because your girl is struggling. Alright guys, so what do you think of this makeup tutorial? You know, when I'm comparing down to hers, okay, let's just do a little close-up. You guys can see what everything looks like. Alright guys, so I think I did pretty good in this video. Um, obviously it's not perfect, it's maybe like 20-50% to 50 accuracy. Um, obviously I didn't have the same products that she had, but I think for the most part it didn't, I don't think it did too bad. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think of this tutorial. Thank you Jackie for, you know, being an inspiration to all of us and, you know, allowing us to just realize how much potential we have. It's pretty amazing someone who's not really, um, a makeup pro by any means can able to recreate this look and, you know, this is the best that I could do. Uh, but I think if I continue to do these tutorials, I'll definitely get better. So if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. I'll probably be back with another one. Uh, maybe get ready with me, chit chat. Get ready with me for nothing tomorrow. But um, I may curl my hair, talk about a certain topic that I feel like maybe you guys would enjoy. And I'll definitely see you in the next one. Bye.